Hey guys, how's it going? Stooge Network here today, and today I present to you which Pokemon will return in Scarlet and Violet. So uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about which ones we can expect to see in Scarlet and Violet. Now I know before you guys even say anything, bro, literally the game comes out this week. What are you doing? Uh, and we have seen through either gameplay or leaks a huge amount of the confirmed uh, Pokemon returning and even some other videos I've seen on YouTube already uh, talking about which ones will return. So on that note though, I wanted to break up this video into two separate parts. So the first part, I wanted to do a little bit of speculation on which Pokemon have the best chance of appearing through either some data I've collected and some hints by Game Freak themselves. And then the second half, I wanted to uh, do uh, all the ones that were confirmed so far. So these are the ones that have actually been confirmed uh, through leaks and stuff like that. So if you don't want spoilers, either click off now. And if you do want spoilers, uh, you can even skip ahead if you want to skip the whole speculation part. I have the time codes in the description. So skip ahead to the second half of the video if you just want to know what all is appearing right now when the game comes out. Um, also note that 110% chance there's a DLC for next year. So the speculation half of the video could be about which ones return then as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So for this section of the video, these Pokemon will be ones that are either guaranteed to return or are very likely. What makes these Pokemon special is that all of these ones have never been in a mainline Switch title game, so these guys are definitely missing the limelight. And that includes starting from Generation 5, the Unova region, uh, the Snivy line, the Tepig line, the Pat Rat line, the Elemental Monkeys, the Zebra Strike line, the Levani line, the Swana line, Sawsbuck line, Alamomola and Electros line, as well as Meloetta for the Mythicals. So for Generation 5, that's a total of 29 missing from any game ever. Then we move on to Generation 6, Kalos. That includes the Greninja line, the Delphox line, and the Chestnut line, all three starters. Uh, the Vivalon line, Pyroar line, Florigus line, Go Goat line, Furfro, and then Hoopa for Mythicals for Gen 6. And that is a total of 22 missing. And then for Generation 7, Alola, that has the least missing since it's kind of just been out recently. Uh, it's only missing two Cannon line, Oracorio forms, the Gumshoes line, Minior, Crabominable line, Kamala, and Bruxious. So that's only about 14 missing for those. So all together, that brings our total missing from any Switch game ever to 65, including different forms. Now, the next section I have here is most likely appearing. These Pokemon have only shown up in either one or two games, but with those games being BDSP or Legends Arceus, and not actually a main mainline game that has a competitive VGC, I thought to include them since most people haven't gotten to actually battle other players in an official format with them yet. So let's start with Legends Arceus first. Uh, these include most of the new Hisui forms. So these are the all three Hisuian starters, Weirdeer, Cleaver, Overquill, Line, Arcanine, Line, Lilligant, Ursaluna, Gudra Line, Basculegion Line, Electrode Line, Sneasler Line, Avalug, Zoroark Line, Braviary, and Enamorous. So that is a total of 25 missing just from Legends Arceus alone. And finally, these ones are most likely as well, but they have only either appeared in BDSP, Legends Arceus, or both of them together. And so this kind of has a huge list, so I got my tablet right here. Uh, I'm not even going to say line anymore just because there's so many. So, god dang, let's, uh, let's go through this. So we got the Beedrill, Line, Venomoth, Pidgeot, Primeape, Raticate, Victory Bell, Pharaoh, Gollum, Arbok, Dodrio, Parasect, Dugong, Muck, Hypno, and Electrode, and that's all the ones missing uh, from Kanto. This also includes Alola forms as well. So this is Johto. We have Meganium, Typhlosion, and Feraligatr, another three set of starters. Uh, Furret, Ledian, Ariados, Ampharos, Jumpluff, Apom, Sunflora, Yanma, Murkrow, Mistrevis, Unknowns, Girafferig, Ferretris, Gligar, Granbull, Ursaring, Macargo, Houndoom, Dawnfan, Stantler, and Smeargle. So, wow, just Johto alone for that one. Then, 
for Gen 3, Hoenn, we have Clamp Pearl, Love Disc, Mightyena, Breloom, Delcaddy, Beautifly, and Dustox, Slacking, Metacham, Swellow, Harayama, Plusle, Minin, Masquerain, Nosepass, Volby, Illumise, Swaylot, Camerupt, Grumpig, Spinda, Cacturn, Zangoose, and Seviper, Cast Form, Kecleon, Banet, Tropius, Chimeco, and Deoxys for a mythical for that one. And then finally, Gen 4 Sinnoh. We have all three of the starters uh, Cricketoon, Mothim, Staraptor, Rampardos, Pachirisu, B Barrel, Bastiodon, Floatzel, Per Ugly, Chatot, Carnivine, Luminion, Manaphir Fion, Darkrai, Shaman, and Arceus. So, sorry, Arceus, <laughs> depending on how you say it. Uh, so, Jesus, I'm about to, like, poker rap all those. <laughs> that was a long list. Um, so, yeah, with all those missing, that brings our grand total up to 274 Pokemon. So, those all have a pretty decent slash high chance of making it into Scarlet and Violet, just from my speculation alone and looking at the data of seeing which ones haven't appeared or appeared competitively in the last couple of games. Now, if you skip to this part, this is the part of the video that does contain spoilers. These Pokemon were data mined through the games and will definitely appear when you start your adventure later on this week. So I'm just going to scroll through this list because I'm pretty sure you guys are all tired of me just rattling off Pokemon names. <laughs> so enjoy. So with all that being said, thank you guys if you stuck around till the end of the video. I'll be putting this resource into the description below for you all to use, but just be warned, it does contain details about the games besides just the returning Pokemon. Remember too, that even though this is a confirmed list, 
This doesn't mean that your favorite Pokemon didn't make it. They might possibly return in the DLC, slated uh, most likely for next summer. So uh, maybe some of the ones I speculated in the beginning will be coming back, as well as tons of legendaries, just like in the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra DLCs. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy playing the game this week. I will probably be joining you, and uh, maybe even do some streams later on down the line. So, if you like this kind of content and want to stick around with our community, then Giga Impact that subscribe button, and also follow our other platforms to keep up with all things Stooge Network. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out, and remember as always, stay Stoogey.